Hey Nutmegs, welcome back to another video. My name is Jody B. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jody B. I'm a registered dietitian and nutritionist. And today we're gonna be making some jerk chicken pasta. This is not your traditional jerk chicken pasta. This is gonna be lighter in calories and better for you. So if that sounds good to you, then stick around. Okay, so first things first, we wanna make sure we clean our chicken really, really good some vinegar, some lime, and wash really good. Then we dry our chicken. We're adding here some garlic powder, cayenne pepper, some paprika. And that's gonna give it a nice color also. Some allspice, and this is gonna give it that real uh, jerk seasoning that we're used to. Some salt, a little black pepper some red pepper flakes and you can add more if you want this to be more spicy some nutmeg i'm going to grate in about half a teaspoon of it and you can just add ground nutmeg if you don't have the fresh one some ground ginger and then a little thyme and some brown sugar to balance out the heat obviously you can use store-bought jerk seasoning if you want to i just like making my own this i'm just putting a little lemon juice in there and then we're gonna season this puppy up the great thing about making your own seasoning as well is you can control the amount of salt you can control the amount of heat um, you want to make this marinate for at least 30 minutes, but overnight is even better if you can cook it the next day. So this is hours later. I'm going ahead and boiling my pasta. I'm using a fettuccine pasta. You can use whatever pasta you like. I really like fettuccine. And then we're going to go ahead and grill off our chicken. So I'm just putting down a little olive oil into a grill pan. And I'm brushing that on so it does not stick to the pan and then we're gonna go ahead and cook it off you can also just cook this chicken in a regular pan or you can cook it in the oven but I really wanted a grill type look and taste to this chicken so we're just putting down the chicken here I'm gonna cook for five minutes on each side making sure that it's cooked fully through and through then as i flip it over you will see those nice grill marks that nice char that it has that's really really what i'm looking for um and just flipping it over and cooking on the other side for about five minutes to make sure that it's all cooked through i did want to mention that when you cook the pasta you want to make sure that you save the pasta water the water that the pasta cooks in because we're going to use that water to go ahead and make our sauce so typically a jerk chicken pasta like this would be made with the sauce would be made with butter and cream and lots and lots of parmesan cheese Today we're gonna be doing it a little bit differently. We're gonna lighten it up a little bit and make our sauce with hummus and the pasta water and lots and lots of veggies. This tastes really, really good. Here I just have my pan ready. I'm gonna put in some olive oil to the hot pan and then we're gonna start sauteing our vegetables. So here I have some onion that I put in we're going to stir that around and just cook it until it's translucent. The longer onion cooks, the sweeter and nicer it gets. So don't rush this process of cooking down your onions in any dish, not just this dish. So then we're going to put down our garlic. This is one teaspoon of garlic, some green onions or scallion. And then I'm using here some yellow peppers. And some mushrooms now the thing I love about a dish like this is really really versatile you use whatever veggies you have on hand so you have kalaloo you have spinach uh, you have zucchini you have squash whatever veggies you have any veggies that are about to go bad whatever you use those veggies here I just put in some tomatoes some grape tomatoes that I just cut in half 
and then we're just going to cook this all down until it's about half the size nice and soft not only is it versatile but if you don't add the chicken this dish is actually a vegan dish this is actually a plant-based dish so it's very very nutritious very good for you here I have some red pepper hummus. You can use whatever hummus you like. If you like the plain one, if you like the garlic, jalapeno, whatever you like, throw it in there. So I'm just going to put in my hummus. I'm actually going to use this whole jar and I'll put in the description the measurements for everything, how much I'm actually using. And I'm adding a little bit at a time because I want to make sure I get the right consistency when I put my pasta water in because I want the sauce to be nice and thick. So I put some of my pasta water. Notice I didn't put all of it. And then I'm going to just mix this out to see what consistency I get and then go from there. So this gives this pasta a really, really creamy, delicious sauce. You don't need to be using cream and butter. All of that is great. It tastes really good. But if you want something lighter, if you want something that you can eat a little bit more often, then this is something that you can definitely do to achieve that. So here I'm just putting the rest of my hummus and then I'm going to add more water to thin it out. Man, look how creamy and delicious that looks. So, so good. And the pasta, when we put it in, it's just going to soak this up and it's going to be lovely. So we're just going to season this up a bit. We do not need any salt. I'm just adding a little black pepper and a little red pepper flakes just for a little heat. You can add more if you like, but we do not need salt. Here, I just squeezed a little bit of lemon juice. It just gives it a little something, something. It heightens the flavor. So here I'm putting my pasta in. As I said before, I'm using a fettuccine pasta i just like it because it's a thicker noodle than say a, a spaghetti or a linguine it's thick and it soaks up the the sauce really nicely so this is what i prefer you can use whatever you like if you like a penne a rotini whatever pasta you like use that so here i'm just mixing up the sauce with the pasta so it can drench it all up this yummy yummy creamy sauce that is also nutritious and delicious and then I am done I'm gonna plate this up so here I'm putting down my pasta with the mushrooms and the tomato oh so so good and as I said before this is gonna be much lighter than your typical pasta dish this is made from the hummus hummus is pretty much just chickpeas ground sesame seeds garlic and lemon juice mixed together so it's very very good for you plant-based no dairy so yeah you can't get better than that so here i have my pasta down i'm just going to put my chicken on top and as i said before if you want this to be just vegan just vegetarian you can go ahead and leave the chicken off you can put some tofu on here um, you can put in some beans but we're gonna have our jerk chicken so I'm just assembling this very, very nicely. And then I'm going to top it with a little um, dried basil. I wish I had some fresh basil here, but they were out at the supermarket. And then I'm adding in a little green onion, some scallion on top, and then some Parmesan cheese. Of course, if you're dairy free, then you can go ahead and leave this part out. And this is my jerk chicken pasta dish. Look upon that. I really, really hope you try this recipe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you try it, if you would try it. Send this video to a friend. Go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.